Comics by Rascal from the Rabbit Hole. Good day, everyone. What have I got to show you today? All right. Um, you may recall a couple of months ago, I did a little how-to guide on the Beam mobile wallet for Android. Um, well, you'll be pleased to know that yesterday, the 26th of July, 2019, there was released a new version. In preparation for the upcoming hard fork in August, uh, the version 3 of the Android wallet has been released. And what a joy it is to behold. I've got it on my mobile here. Um, it basically covers uh, quite a lot of ground this time round, and the developers should be applauded. Um, they got a lot of work done in such a short time on this one. Um, so uh, what we'll do is, without further ado, we'll have a little look at that. Okay. So this is a great feature, bit of auditability within the wallet to allow you to export your full transaction list. So I can easily send it to any email address for your accountant, tax advisor, third party auditor. You can easily show the full transaction history for those purposes. It's a great thing. So emailing that over, um, it'll uh, give you the spreadsheet. So this is quite a good tool if you wanted to keep track of all your uh, ins and outs on that wallet. Um, it shows all the relevant information. So say for example you uh, you had to submit all your info to tax authorities or the IRS in the uh, United States. Um, they want to check what you've mined um, and uh, how much they may be worth in your wallet there. Um, doesn't show the value in uh, your local currency but it will show the value in beams um, and all the relevant information is on that spreadsheet there as you can see the um, the date and the time of the transaction that column there that's blacked out would be the that's your uh, coin amounts I've blacked that out because that's my own um, you've got sending addresses there um, the receiving address the transaction fee also uh, transaction ID and the kernel ID um, it's all on there. Everything that you need to audit your um, beams in your uh, in your mobile wallet direct into a spreadsheet. I think that's quite a good function, quite a good feature. So what else have we added to the wallet? We can have a look at here. Um, so aside from from that 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 part, we've added extra languages. So uh, we hope to add more. No matter where you are in the world, you should be able to get the wallet into your own language. Well, that's quite a good feature and that is obviously an ongoing work in progress maybe take time also added is categorization of your addresses addresses can be assigned to uh, customizable categories in the settings page there you see you can add your category um, give it a, a little uh, colored tab and give it a name that's uh, for better readability and for bookkeeping purposes again as you can see, the little blue category there has been added to my wallet now. Um, there is also a privacy mode to hide balances during face-to-face -face transactions. Like you can see here. Yep. Okay. Better customizability of your addresses uh, specifically. As you can see here, you can uh, add addresses to those categories that you've uh, previously created. As you can see, it's just generally cleaner, crisper, far easier to use. Um, with a few extra features added as well, um, the send receive screens have been redesigned so that simple actions require less clicks to let you uh, get advanced settings for greater flexibility. When sending Beam you can allow searching um, for the address to send from, also the same as when receiving Beam you can allow searching for the address to receive to. Many more customizable options there like your lock screen. Uh, node selection, you can select a random node or uh, input the seed node that you want to connect to manually there. So some more improvements while well, I just uh, play around with this wallet here. There's a send all is supported when sending beams to avoid coin dust. Um, when deleting an address, all the related transaction can also be deleted. Um, addresses can be shared using a system dialog. Uh, links to transaction kernel ID in the blockchain explorer um, if you allow your wallet to link out to an external address um, you get push notifications for incoming transactions 
other things that were uh, requested by our community to add to the wallet was the ability to remove addresses or transactions or clear all the data on that wallet if you so wish. The release notes were uh, sent out yesterday via a Medium article. Feel free to go and have a look at that and uh, please keep in touch. So there you have it. The Beam Wallet for Android. Export your transactions. Have it in your language. Everything you need. Pretty sexy, huh? Bye, guys. Beam Vlogs by Rascal from the Rabbit Hole.